partake of that which we do on Sunday mornings, Wednesday night, and Sunday nights. Amen. As we just minister the word of faith and just thank God for his goodness. How many of y'all thank God this morning? Amen. Amen. I'm so thankful for what God has done in my life. Amen. I, I just all week long, it's just been a song in my heart thanking God. Uh, when I think about where I came from to where I am today. Come on, amen. It's amazing. I, I, it's an amazing story, you know. I mean, I look at, we, t- we preach about Job and David and all these different ones. Well, I've got a story, <laughs> amen. I you know, the Bible said we're known by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So I have a testimony. I have a story that could actually be part of the Bible, but it's not, amen. It's not part of the Bible, but yet it is a living testimony of the grace and the power of God and what God could do. When you turn your life over to him. If I get everybody to stand to their feet, we're going to come to the power of agreement. And the Bible said, we're two are gathered together in my name. I am there in the midst of them. And if you love one another, whatever you ask for. Come on. Whatever you have. If you love one another, look at your neighbor and say, I love you. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Say, I love you. You got to mean it. You got to mean it. God knows whether you mean it or not. Amen. Just like that old Santa Claus said, you better not cry. You better not weep. You know. Why? I'm telling you why. Because he's coming to town. Jesus is coming back. Amen. He's not Santa Claus. He's the Messiah. He's God. Amen. Amen. Father, we're just so thankful to be in the house of God. Thankful for our salvation. Thankful for that every day for all the precious little things that you do. The moments we don't even know, God, that you're moving on our behalf. We want to thank you for those moments. We want to thank you for those times that you protected us when we didn't even know you protected us and you guided us and lifted us up. Father, we want to thank you for the times that you loved us when it seemed like nobody else loved us and nobody else understood us. God, you stood in that gap and loved us anyway. So we just want to tell you, thank you, Lord, tonight. Thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your love. And Father, we just ask you to pour out your spirit on this place and let this praise go up before you as a memorial of thanksgiving to you for all you've done and all you're getting ready to do. And let everything that hath breath this night, let it praise God and let it give you glory. Father, as I minister your word, let me not minister with attitude or emotions or feelings. But Father, let me minister under the power and the demonstration of your spirit. For with the spirit of the Lord God, there's liberty. Let liberty rule and reign in Jesus' mighty name. We all said amen and amen.
Amen. No, that I have not seen nor ear heard those things which God has done and is getting ready to do for his body, which is you. Amen. Jesus Christ, the hope of glory that lives inside of you. There's nothing that God wouldn't do for you. 